right here in the app. All right, so first right off, with this fifth ocean, let's note some. Boom. Let's note this. All right, look where they say in the fifth ocean is located at. Okay? They got the Atlantic Ocean. We got the Pacific Ocean. We got the Indian Ocean. Okay? See, Australia, tip of Africa, South America. All right? They telling you that Antarctica is in the middle. And that the Southern Ocean goes around Antarctica. When in actuality that is that is that is couldn't be further from the truth. Okay? Antarctica old maps, which we've seen before, right? Antarctica circles the entire realm, okay? The landmass they call Antarctica forms an ice wall around the entire land mass, okay? This is the true shape of Antarctica. Antarctica is does not look like this at all, all right? It's not just some small old island of ice sitting in the middle of everything. That's a complete lie. First off, let's get Antarctica down for what it is, all right? And, 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 you know, the old maps of, of how it looks, the original, the original map showed you how it looked, all right? What we know to be Australia, Africa, um, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, you know, these different continents, these are all sitting inside of Antarctica, And this is why the military would never let you go to Antarctica. You can't even book a flight to Antarctica and land nowhere in Antarctica. I looked it up. The most they'll let you do is fly over Antarctica for like 4000 a flight. And if I was you, I wouldn't take that flight because you fuck around and never come back. They gonna want to know, first off, what the fuck you want to know so much about over here for, nigga? You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't even risk it. But... You should question why. You have ancestors. Let's see if I can pull up an old map. Because sometimes, you know, they be on bullshit on YouTube, on Google. They get on bullshit. Let's see if we can find one. Sometimes you can find one, sometimes you can't. Most of the guys and goddesses in here, I didn't did lectures on it. It was hard for me to find the picture. But sometimes you can get on Google, because Google censors so much, right? Or DuckDuckGo. You can get on these sites. Sometimes you can find maps. They'll let it be on there, and sometimes they'll snatch it. They'll get the snatching shit down. You feel me? Like, But it's old maps. All right, that show the true shape of the realm and how it really looks, which many of you I'm pretty sure have seen. And our realm sits in the middle of Antarctica. Okay, we are in the middle. Okay, we sit in the middle. Antarctica is an ice wall that they have us encased in and it's three ice walls separating us from from um separating us from the you know from my other brothers and sisters other Anunnaki gods and goddesses The ice rings separate us because they don't want us to connect, unite, 
See, they didn't just divide us within the realm amongst ourselves. See, over here we're divided amongst ourselves as well. But no, they literally divided us from other Anunnaki gods and goddesses with these ice rings. And these, the dark elves who come from planet Nern created them because the dark elves are the ones that created the sub-zero technology that was used to freeze our ancestors. All right. They, they are now trying to admit this just now. They're trying to admit that they, that, uh, is, is potential bodies under the ice in Antarctica and, and, and things like this. You see? But they are just now admitting this. That's semi what it's like. A little bit, something like that. Almost, not quite though. It's um maps. I just ain't have no intention on pulling no maps up today in class, but. I've showed the maps before in old lectures, so you all know the map I'm talking about anyway. But we sit in the middle, all right? We sit in the middle. So if you know the the the, the true ancient shape, that's the secret of the clock. The secret of the clock is it's the shape of the realm, the actual clock, okay? We literally sit in the middle like that, you know what I'm saying? And we have ancestors... And, well, I wouldn't say ancestors, but well, you can call them ancestors, too, because, you know, they've been around, too, for a minute. But we have brothers and sisters, which is, I like to use that word better, that are on the other side of those ice walls. And these are the same ice walls that Admiral Byrd the, um, described in his little flight when he seen what he seen. But yeah, we sit in the middle though. So it's just ironic that this fifth ocean has anything to do with Antarctica. And here we go, right here. Perfect. It surely does. So here we go, right here. Boom. This is how it look. But this us in the middle. We in the middle, first ring. And then we have more brothers and sisters that live on this land. You see these lands? They live there. But they stuck in between this ring of ice where we at and that ring of ice. And guess what? It's more of these reptilians on that side that enslave them as well like we are enslaved. And then on the outskirts of that, we have more brothers and sisters. This is a fact. All right, that's how our ram is set up. So they didn't just divide us amongst ourselves. You see what I'm saying? They divided they divided us literally from other brothers and sisters. Look, here we go right here. That's a good map right there. There we go. That's better. That's us in the middle. That's our land. Then we got brothers and sisters on this land. And they stuck in that ice ring. Then we got brothers and sisters on this land. You see it? All out here. And they surrounded by ice wall. And that's what they did to our realm. Okay? So when they talking about this fifth ocean is has anything to do with Antarctica, that's because these ice walls, these rings are starting to melt down because of the Kundalini energy is rising on the planet. So now what's happening, what you're seeing is you're seeing more water flow in from all this. Look at all this water around us on us outside of that. That's flowing in now. And then the oceans are being drained. Okay. So you have a lot of our ancestors that are back and they deep down in the oceans, draining the oceans. They're going deep and down there, getting all the stuff up out the oceans because they have been using all type of magic on this realm, not just on the surface, deep down in the ocean, too. So what's what's happened is 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 not at the 
the the Nerubians are like I keep talking about the Nerubians because they are playing a, a big part in this war right now. Not that the Nerubians are back and they cleaning up the atmosphere, they helping cleaning up the oceans too. And the ocean herself, which is the planet. Okay, remember the ocean is our ancestors, is the ancestors of Titan. So the planet herself, for example, the planet herself is is rising. Okay, so it is certain bodies that's not our ancestor ocean. All right, that these elites are not talking about because they're not telling you about the aqua the the aquatic families the different aquatic families all right the different aquatic families which ocean happens to be a, a member of okay so you got all these other different bodies of water that's starting to rush into the planet and new bodies of water that was trapped that was trapped fresh bodies of water that was trapped all right that are also aquatic a different aquatic beings you also have portals opening up in the oceans right now because this is another way that our that different ancestors or different extraterrestrial races that are on our side are coming back to help fight in this war you have all this going on right now all right you also have them trying to put build, burn their own portals through the ocean all right to leave the planet which i keep telling you that ain't gonna work and that didn't work all right when the planet is cleaning herself, all is being revealed. You are finding out everything that they have done to you. Listen, it's gonna get it's gonna get deeper than that. All right, you see, Europe is flooding. Where do you think all this water is coming from? That's the planet cleansing herself, and that's also those aquatic families fighting back. Now imagine once ocean get free and what he's the, the havoc he's going to cause on the planet for them. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna get real intense. This is a fact. All right. And they know this, but they trying to hide it. Now, check this out. Check this out. Peep game. Peep game. Boom. What is all this about right here? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is all this about? What was all this about, though? Hold on. We we trying to figure shit out. What was all this about? <laughs> What was all that about? Now this is in Africa. Okay? That's in Africa, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nah. Hold on. Check this out. We 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 that was in Africa. Okay. Hold on. I meant to click on the one from Mexico. It's time to help people customize and save Liberty Mutual. Now, they, that's two different locations. This in the Gulf of Mexico, the other one was in Africa, right? So, this is the times when they trying to burn portals in the ocean, through the ocean to get out the, off the planet, all right? This is what this was about right here. To escape what's going on. The ice walls in Antarctica are breaking down. All three of them. All the ice walls, the ones I was just showing y'all, they are breaking down. All right? Because the planet is fighting back herself. As well as this is where all this water is coming from that's doing this. This is where all this water coming from. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. When I told y'all the planet is fighting back, she fighting back. Hold on. This is where all this water coming from right here. That's where all this water coming from. 
They don't know where it's coming from, right? Look, they don't know where it's coming from. Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, is preparing to visit regions of Germany affected by severe flooding that has killed at least 156 people. Merkel is due to visit one of two regions hit by the floods. The disaster area in Germany spans more than 100 kilometers near the borders with the Netherlands and Belgium, where the district of Ahrada was the worst hit. A massive cleanup operation is underway as rescue crews search for survivors. More than 1,000 people are still missing. DW reporter Kate Brady has this report from some of the flooded villages around Bonn. Destruction and debris on every corner. The only sound on the streets, mud being scraped away. And tractors rumbling through the once picturesque town of Arvila. Here in Arvila, the water has subsided and it's only now that the real true extent of the damage caused by the floods is really coming to light. A lot of people are returning to their homes for the first time. He now this is in Germany, y'all. This is in Germany. Do you think it's a it's a coincidence that Germany was hit like that? It's time to read up on and they don't even know where all the water coming from, but they do know where it's coming from. The planet is cleansing herself. It's a natural disaster on a shocking scale, Look. with heavy rain causing rivers to burst. And she's cleansing the planet herself of the of the parasitical invaders. She know where to go. She knows where to go. All right. This all has to do with the ice walls breaking down in Antarctica and the aquatic families fighting back in this war. Okay, so hold on. These aquatic families are exist. Remember I told you the ocean is alive. The ocean is a titan. Okay, and he comes from an aquatic family of, of aquatic beings. Okay, so all this water that's rushing in and sweeping in is these entities, these, 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 these elemental beings, these aquatic beings fighting back, helping the planet fight back against these parasitical invaders. And, and they going exactly where they're supposed to go. All right. Now, they can pose on the news. They act like they don't know what's going on. But this is real shit. This is y'all are saying this shit happen in real life time. This is no accident how this is going down. All right. And they even telling you. All right. That parts of what you think is Africa is about to break off. Because of the water, because of the flood. They also tried to tell you that. Hold on. Let's not forget. They just try to tell you that. The Earth can see a lot of flooding because the moon has a wobble in its or orbit. That's they trying to tell you that too. Are unusual in Germany, but despite the shock, communities are coming together, united in their efforts to tackle the disaster. Why Germany? Why Germany? That's the where the Germanic raids came from. The Germanic raids. You see what I'm saying? They started in Germany. We said we can get it up. Can we get it up? Can we get it up? Is Google going to give it to us? Is Google, will they give it to us? Let's see, Google. Can we get the Germanic raids? Oh, the Germanic tribes. Can we get the Germanic raids? This is when they came out the Caucasus mountains, warring with us. Uh-oh, we might have it. Early Germanic warfare, Germanic raids. Okay. Early Germanic, oh, okay, they fucking with us tonight. Early Germanic warfare was the warfare of early Germanic peoples. It is an important element of early Germanic culture. Warfare, facts, right, exactly. They come from straight warfare, exactly, cool, right, exactly. Right, let's talk about it. Okay, so let's look at why Germany getting hit. Because remember, I talked about they was in the caves. These original 13 bloodlines, these hierarchy human beings, the ones that helped run the world. These were the strongest tribes, okay? The original 13 families, okay? The original 13 families, okay? 